channel. So for today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my experience with my tattoos, the dark but yet beautiful meaning behind all my tattoos. All my tattoos have a story. Usually when somebody like in public asks me, oh, what does that tattoo mean? Um, I just tell them the quote, but I don't really talk about the story or the meaning behind it. Um, and I feel comfortable enough to, you know, just open up a little bit so you guys can get to know me better. Um, you know, my journeys and, you know, the obstacles and all that that I've been going through. Um, besides that, I just posted this picture on Instagram. I am coming out with something. It's a project that I've been working on for over a year. Uh, it's something that I'm really, really passionate about. This project is literally for you guys. If you have been with me since the beginning that I started my YouTube channel or if you just recently joined the Flower Fam, then this one's for you. This is for all the support and the constant love and I really worked hard on this to perfect it and I just cannot wait to you guys see it and until you guys physically have it. That's all I'm gonna say. You guys can go have fun in the comments, try to guess, you know, what it is, what I'm coming out with. It doesn't really like portray the exact launch but um, this is just a little teaser. So yeah, just head over to my other socials to see a little sneak peek of that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So my very first tattoo is behind my ear. Now I have a wig on, so don't clock me if you see my real hair. Um, this is the tattoo. It is a lotus flower. I'll post a picture if you guys can't see it clearly. Um, that was my very first tattoo. <laughs> the first time I got the tattoo, a lot of people thought it was a weed sign and I was like, no, it's not, it's a lotus flower. Throughout time, the lotus flower has been a powerful spiritual symbol. The lotus has its roots in the mud at the bottom of the streams and ponds, but it grows to become the most beautiful flower despite its origins. It symbolizes how we too can overcome all obstacles on our journey towards enlightenment and flourishment. It also represents growth and spiritual development. The reason why I got this tattoo, I had actually gotten this tattoo after my ex and I broke up. If you are an OG and you know, uh, I used to live with my ex. We had moved from Texas to California. We had our own home together. We had our own vlog channel. You know, we had a really public relationship um so when me and him broke up it was kind of like we broke up with the internet and it became everyone's business and it was just like really hectic and it was so hard on me um after me and my ex broke up obviously he moved back to texas and you know i went from living with this person every single day of my life to living by myself in a state that i had no one so I had to learn how to be independent. Um, I was dating this person since high school and I started my life in California in a new state, not, not knowing anyone. So the only person I really had was him. So when he left, it felt like he took a part of me and um, I was stuck for a really, really, really long time. I was so lost, I didn't know what to do, you know? When you date someone for a really long time, you kind of depend your happiness on that person. So when that person leaves out of your life, it's kind of just like, what the fuck, you know? And back then, I was not as strong as I am today, so I was really just like, I was just like a little lost duckling and you know, I had to learn how to get myself out of that stuck place and learn to love myself again and learn how to be independent and just learn how to do like these daily activities that I was used to do with this other person on myself. And once I got out of that stuck place, I feel like I just flourished and I feel like I really got to know myself more. I got to you know, just spend quality time with myself and I got to know what I do like, what I don't like, you know, and now I enjoy my alone time and I feel like that tattoo is really me when I used to live in Whittier because I was stuck and I feel like I blossomed after um, the whole breakup because I feel like I got to know myself and, you know, it's a constant reminder that, you know, although you may get stuck sometimes, you have to learn how to pick yourself up and get out of that place and when you do, you just flourish and you blossom and you elevate and you grow a little more. So yeah, that's what that tattoo means. So my next tattoo is on my back. It is the biggest tattoo I have. It is my Libra Zodiac alignment. As you guys know, I'm really into astrology. I'm really passionate about it. I'm constantly reading about it. It's just something that really intrigues me. And it's like one of my hobbies is I like to read books about astrology and all that. So I wanted it to be part of me. So that's why I got a tattoo and I'm about to show you guys. So here you have my moon, you have the stars, you have the constellations, you 
pretty much have everything on there. Uh, I found it on Pinterest actually. Somebody else had gotten it and she was a Libra as well. And I was like, wow, I felt obsessed with it. I wanted to have it in my back. Here's the thing though, I kind of regret it. The back tattoo is probably the only tattoo I do regret. Just because like I can't even see it and you know like I forget that it's there. A lot of the tattoos that I have, I forget that they're there. But I do regret my zodiac alignment. I just feel like when I'm older, I don't want my zodiac alignment on my back. But you know, it was like, I was like, eh, whatever, fuck it. You know, it's life. You have some tattoos that you love. You have some tattoos that you regret. I still love it. It's, it's still a beautiful piece, you know, but... I wish I would have waited or I would have gotten it like a little bit smaller, you know? Um, that's the story behind that one. Um, the next tattoo that I got, I believe, is this one and this one right here. Uh, these two are really, really emotional for me uh, because um, Romans 831 pretty much means God's with me, who's against me. Uh, when I was younger, I went through a lot of traumatizing things and you know growing up I didn't really understand why these things were happening um, There was an incident that happened with a family friend uh, That I, I don't feel t comfortable talking about it But it was something really traumatizing that happened to me when I was younger that I carried a lot of hate in my heart and I just didn't understand why this thing happened or why or how someone could do this to a child it was just i was really confused growing up i had a lot of anger with me and when i was younger i really thought that like god was against me like i just thought i i oh, i'm getting emotional you know when you go through things at a really young age you don't really understand why these things happen so every time i would go to church and stuff you know i i would i would be like kind of mad at god because i would be like I've never done anything bad. I'm not a malicious person. Like, why would he make me go through these things? And, you know, it was like one after the other after the other. And I just thought that he was like out to get me. But now looking back at it, it was like all these incidents that happened and helped me grow as a person. And, you know, instead of me carrying hate in my heart and blaming people and this and that, I just, I just learned to accept it. And I learned how to grow from it. And, you know, like, my friends know the story behind it and they're always like wow like i look at you and i would never in a million years assume that that happened to you and it's like because back then i was such a bitch like i'm telling you guys i had so much hate in me because of this one incident that happened and after i like after i like i realized that you know like i can't change my past i am going to take what happened to me and I'm just going to use that as motivation to become a better version of myself to, you know, maybe one day I'll be comfortable enough to talk about what happened to me. And maybe, you know, I know my story would inspire a lot of girls, but um, right now I'm just not comfortable talking about it. But God's with me who's against me at, you know, like when I became like independent or whatever and I started looking back at it, I was like, wow. God made me go through these things to make me the person I am today. I feel like if I would have never gone through the things that I went through in my childhood, it wouldn't have made me such a strong individual that I am now. So now I see it as like he was just, you know, like, I feel like God makes you go through things um, on purpose. He would never make you go through something he doesn't think that you can overcome. And now I see it as like, no, I open it. And so I use that kind of as like motivation. Anytime something bad is going in my life, I'm like, no, God's with me, who's against me. Anytime that I feel like the devil is trying to drag me down and no, I always look back at this chapter and I'm like, you know, God's with me, who's against me? So that's that's uh, the meaning behind that tattoo. This next one is probably the most emotional one for me. So this one is, I suffered, I learned, I changed. Uh, the reason why I got it in Arabic is because I didn't want people reading that actual quote on my arm. If they come up to me and ask me, then I'll tell them. And I always get compliments on this tattoo. Um, I love the meaning behind it. Um, the main reason why I got this tattoo is because if you guys know, uh, I, you know, mm, I feel really like uncomfortable talking about this. <sighs> if you guys know, uh, I've battled with depression and anxiety for a really long time. It wasn't until recently that, you know, it came to light that I was dealing with this mental illness. The thing is, I never talked about it. I, I never went on social media and talked about my mental illness. It wasn't something that, not saying that I was like, I was kind of like embarrassed in a way. I didn't want people 
knowing that I was going through these things. Um, you know, I always faked it till I made it. And I think that's where it really mentally fucked me up. I was constantly living in these two different worlds. It was like online, I had to be like this perfect role model, social media influencer. And I had to like be smiling, be happy 24 seven, you know, and I had to be such a perfect role model. And then, you know, in my family, it was like, I'm the big sister. So it was like, I had all my little sisters looking up to me and any anytime something bad would happen, like I would instantly get blamed for it. They're like, you're the role model, you're supposed to be this. You're so I've always, like it, it was like, I always was told what to do, how to be, how to look, how to smile, how to do this, this, this and that. So I was constantly putting up like this facade of like this perfect role model. But in reality, I was dealing with so many, like so many issues um, mentally and like I said, it has to do with my childhood as well. And I suffered a lot um, back then. And I feel like all that suffering changed me and it helped me learn and it helped me grow. All, honestly, all of my tattoos are about, you know, like moving forward and growing and prospering and flourishing. And, and that's, that's why I have them because I was in such a dark place back then. And I feel like now, when I look back at my tattoos, I'm like, wow, like, I went through some really hard stuff, but now I'm here. I'm such a positive person now. My mentality has changed, you know. I'm still, I'm dealing with, you know, my, um, my mental illness. Um, it's not as intense as it used to because back then I didn't seek help. I was in denial that I had these issues. I was in denial that I needed help. You know, it was to the point where literally my management team and my friends had to like give me a reality check and tell me like, you need help. And it was just like, I after I went to therapy and I, I saw my psychiatrist, it just, it healed the wounds from my childhood. It healed wounds that were open. It healed wounds that I didn't even know we're there. You know, everything just started making more sense. And um, I look back at this tattoo and I love it because I suffered, I learned, and I changed as a person. I love the person I am today. You know, I'm still changing, I'm still growing, I'm still like my mentality is still changing, but I am loving the person that I'm, I'm becoming. I am so much more stronger. I'm so much more independent. I love myself. I'm so confident in myself. You know, my insecurities used to get the best of me, honestly, especially being in the public eye. Your life is being judged 24 seven. You're getting hate 24 seven. Opinions are coming from left to right. And I used to let that get to me. But now I just, I'm in love with myself, you know? So anytime something, you know, like negative comes my way, I try to reciprocate that with positive energy. Uh, I used to be like that one really like, I was like a Debbie Downer back then and now I just you know I see life differently although the things that I'm going through right now in my household are happening I am trying my best to be positive I'm trying my best to ignore it you know like back then if this was happening to me when I was really vulnerable and weak I would not even be here filming I wouldn't even feel comfortable I would be a complete mess I would just be in bed I would just be like letting this take over me but now I'm not because I'm a changed person and I learned the hard way that you cannot let you know negative things affect you um you know and I'm still human you know there are some days that I'm like perfectly fine there are some days that I'm a complete mess that's just life some days I feel like I have my life together some days I feel like I don't know what I'm doing with my life um at one point I wanted to give up I wanted to quit social media and I had to get myself out of that rut and be like, no, you have a purpose in this world. You have a lot of people looking up to you. You have a lot of people depending on you. And yeah, so that is the meaning behind this tattoo. So this next tattoo that I have is actually on my finger. Uh, I even forget that I have this tattoo. This was literally, I'm about to tell you guys the pain on the tattoos. This one pretty much means God is greater than my highs and lows. That one um, also is like, God is there to help me. God is there through the downs and ups pretty much this but yeah this one means god is greater than my highs and lows and it's just like a little inspirational tattoo type of thing the um other tattoos that i have these are the last ones i have four on my fingers so i have two tattoos on my pinkies and then i have two on my thumbs somebody thought it was like gang related or something but honestly I just wanted a tattoo when I was, ta I was like so bored and I was like, you know what? I was like, I want another tattoo. I was like, what should I get? I want a tattoo that I can see while I'm texting. <laughs> I know it sounds really mediocre, but I just got these. And then um, the one on my P 
Pinky. I think it was my ex was getting a tattoo and I didn't want him to feel alone. So I decided to just get these with him and uh, that was that. that. That's the story behind the tattoo. Oh, wait, girl. Oh my God, I almost forgot I have these tattoos over here. Oh my God. Um, so I have this one. It's 1997, which was the year that I was born. Well, all of a sudden my camera doesn't want to focus, but I'm sure you guys have seen. I have a small heart right here and then I have the year that I was born here. Um, this one pretty much I got a heart because of self-love. It's a constant reminder to love myself. There are days that I am really, really insecure. And you know, it's it's just life. A lot of people are gonna be like, you have nothing to be insecure about, but you know, there's just some days where I don't feel my best. And every time I look at the heart, I just have to remember like, you know, I have a lot to live for. You have to learn how to love yourself. You have to learn how to even love your flaws. This one over here, 1997. Um, so going back to me dealing with my mental illness, uh, when I was really young, I used to, I don't really want to say the word, if you guys caught that, um, and that was my only escape. But since I didn't really talk about the pain that I was feeling, I would show it. You know, at one point in my life, I literally thought that I had no purpose in life. I thought that, um, you know, me not being here was the best option and that was the way to go. And there was a lot of times where I felt like just giving up and just leaving um, physically, like leaving this world. And, you know, looking back at it now, it's just like, it's crazy because I'm so glad that, you know, things didn't go the way I was planning on them to go and I'm still here. Um, so I put my year right there where I have some scars just to remind myself. Like it's, it's like a timestamp, like this is the year you were born. You were born for a reason, you were born with a purpose and now you just have to make something out of it. And you know, at the end of the day, I just, I'm not perfect. I just want to be someone for someone to look up to. When I was younger, I didn't have a big sister. I didn't have a role model. I didn't have anyone to look up to. You know, my safe place was like YouTube and I would look up to all these beauty gurus and I'm like, wow, like I want to be like them one day. and. You know, I turned my life around and I, now I'm here and I'm on the other side and it's crazy how everything happens, but I love this tattoo. These tattoos were from different um, tattoo artists. All my tattoos are from the exact same tattoo artists except for the ones right here because I got those done in New York. I will have my tattoo artist linked down below. Um, you know, I didn't go as detailed as I wanted to in this video, but hopefully one day I can tell like some of my like full stories maybe maybe one day maybe if I come out with my own book that'd be insane or if I were to come out like with my own documentary of my childhood and my life now and all that stuff oh my god that would be insane imagine oh wait I didn't even tell you guys the pain um yeah so the most painful one was this one the least painful one was the one on my back I didn't feel any pain at all um the second painful one is this one the one on oh my god this one hurts so bad just because there's like hardly any skin this one didn't hurt at all this one didn't hurt at all um, the ones that did hurt are the ones on my fingers. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. If you guys have any tattoos and you guys would like to, you know, tell me the meaning behind it. I would love to read into it. I'm always, like, lurking in the comments. You guys may think that I'm not seeing your comments, but I see every single comment. Um, I really just want to have, like, an active conversation in the comment section. You know, you guys can tell me your story behind your tattoos and all that. And, you know, yeah, just show some love in the comments. Don't forget to be nice to someone today, spread some love, spread some positivity. Do not forget to go check out that picture that I posted on my Instagram and all the sneak peeks and all that. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, awesome day. There's going to be a lot of makeup tutorials coming up this week. That's why I kind of wanted to not post so much makeup this week. That's why, that's why I haven't been posting a lot of makeup things because I'm about to flood your timeline with a lot of makeup things this week. So... Just be prepared, but thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. It only takes one second. Go ahead and check out these other videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.